What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Roggle, here with Sig. Back at it for another one that's been a little bit, it feels like, again. Um, no, my fault. Oh. I didn't say it was. I said it's been a while. You've but been putting be, out some episodes. To be fair, I've been putting out YouTube exclusives. To be fair, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that said we need to take a two week break because things were getting very hectic into school and everything. So we're back for the summer. New schedule once a week. Or one episode a week with something that's so something that's so far overdue that I'm kind of like pissed off at us that we fucking haven't been doing this for almost two years now. Is our is the weekly video game updates. So and this all ties into what we're gonna talk about today. Uh Right, we'll explain there. <laughs> but it dawned on me. Why the fuck don't we do video game updates? <laughs> like we're a video game podcast or something like that. I, I know, right? It's kind, of, it's kind of in the name. I, I was I so, know. I'm so fucking, yeah. So proud of myself too. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna mention this to Rago and see how, how, how he <laughs> thinks about it. <laughs> but we've done, I've done, Two weeks in a row now, last week and this week. Um, weirdly enough, uh, World of Warcraft seems to be, no matter what platform I'm on, like our, our channel or my channel, uh, World of Warcraft seems to just be like triggered right now. I don't know what it is. What? Like I've always said, that's a huge, that's a huge following community that. Cult. Right? No matter what. That, cult. Yeah, I was, That's I, the I was word you're looking for. Cult. Around that one, but yeah. Cult. Okay, yes, it is. Very true. <laughs> Spot on. Yeah, I mean, cult following for that one. And I think it. no matter what, you're going to get some type of viewership on it, regardless of your, your status. Yeah. In, uh, in streaming, so. Yeah, I've noticed you know, you're, you're not doing your morning ones. All right, look. There... <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I I was I was impressed you were doing it for the week or two. I did it for a month. I did it for a, a little over a month. Oh no, he cut out. Yeah. I saw you a couple times in the morning. You cut out mine too. But I, I saw I saw you a couple times in the morning that you just looked like you got hit by a truck and drove yes. the and drove in front of the camera. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. He's got he's got a power through it. Uh, well, it, it was that, and then I realized it was such a poor, very stupid timing. I will say that it was very stupid timing to have done it at April compared to like June when, um, you know, I'm not having to wake up with the kids, we get sleep in. I was like, oh, okay, that was the whole point of doing it at six o'clock was so where I can beat everybody up, but. Yeah, it was a struggle, and, and we had all those, or we did here in Kansas, we were just having storm after storm after storm those first two weeks of May, and every morning I'd log in, or I'd like start setting up, and then no power, or I'd wake up because I'm freaking hot as hell because the AC's off, the fan's off, I was like, oh, great. So, like, it was just, yeah, it was just a shit show. Uh, yep. But now it's just a... Now I'm mostly on TikTok because don't take it away from TikTok. <laughs> They're like, you can stream live. It's like awesome, cool. And we're doing that right now, actually, during this episode. And I'm I'm like, awesome, let's try this out. Lots of success or I think I'm having success on it. Um, statistically speaking, comparative to like the other ones. But World of Warcraft has been one like month ago to date. I was like, oh, War Within is coming out. New DLC. I haven't played this game in four years. I've been playing since 2004, by the way, if anybody's wondering, 20 years. First time I took a gap in playing. But I was playing Nerd. It. <laughs> Nerd. So, I was I was like, let me just hop into it. Um, I, I want to get War Within because they're getting ready to... It's, it's going to be a new... Uh, saga series so like Dragonflight's the current DLC we're in right now for World of Warcraft and that basically is the end 
of the saga they've been building up to. And then war within will create a new saga that they're going to kind of branch off of and go do a whole different direction. Kind of like destiny two just released to the June 5th today, just released its final DLC for its current saga, final shape. So everything after final shape will be a whole brand new saga, new storylines, new everything. Um, same with world of Warcraft, you know, something call of duty should do abandon certain throwbacks and just leave them as a throwback and nothing else but so i i did the update last week i think we got like 100 and some views which on youtube was a lot for us because i'm sporadic with shorts on youtube for our channel because it takes so much to do podcast shorts um but one of my videos is taking off right now from like eight days ago I had, I went to bed on Sunday night and it had like 37, 38 views post live stream. Um, and now it's up to 1,458 just randomly from Monday morning to now, which is Wednesday night. I was like, oh, that jumped a lot and it's still growing. As we speak, like this morning, I was only at 1200 and now I'm at 14.5. So I have another World of Warcraft video that is fucking 3000. <laughs> Same like everything, said, tags, that, hashtags, that, everything. It's, cool. <laughs> it's a following. It's a following and it is what it is. But when you're doing your lives, and it's, I'm going to jump into what we talked about yesterday. Yeah. Talking about yesterday. When you're doing your lives, your engagement with your with your community that you have built, you've been streaming for quite a while. My community is there. Yes, yes Fraggle. We get it. I'm old as fuck. You are 10 years older. Remember that, everyone. That. I was talking about how long you've been streaming. And six not inches shorter. How old? <laughs> you fucking asshole. I was talking about your streaming journey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they called it, call it a journey. In your engagements with your with your community, with your chat and everything else going on. <laughs> fucking hate you. What when you're doing it, you're not asking for subs. You're not begging for money. You're not going off because you're not getting engagements. You you are essentially you're engaged in your game and when when you have chatter, so when you have anything like that, you are there because and honestly, you may have a lot, you may not have a lot. But either way, you're engaged with your chat as much as you can be when you're not engulfed in the, in gaming or taking a break in between matches or whatever you're doing. Yeah. Regardless, World of Warcraft, you can probably do both at the same time with how slow pace it is. But I think with the way a lot of streamers that I've seen lately, I think you said you've seen the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, I watched one the other day, yesterday, pretty much break down towards the end of his stream because he has he had to go explain why he only made twenty dollars and was a full time streamer. Yeah. And he had been streaming for four, three and a half, four hours, whatever. And this is not somebody who's new, he's got a decent following. Yeah. But the way that he pretty much just snapped and said, No, I'm done, I have to do this, I gotta figure something out. Now I understand the breakdown, like, okay, what am I doing? But if you're doing it on stream, you're putting yourself out there as you're not happy with your community. You're not happy with what you're doing, which is perfectly fine. If you're not happy with what you're doing, don't blast yourself out there and just completely put it out to where you just sound like a complete asshole. Yeah. And you're you're unappreciative of anything that's come in because regardless of what it is, you still have people that have sub to you. People are hanging out. And the guy had 70-some viewers at this time. And midway through the stream, he was complaining because nobody was talking. And if you're going to be this type of streamer who just nags complains because you're not getting the engagement that you want you may have to look at what you're doing and re-engage everything or change some things up so your community follows you in a in a more positive direction doesn't become a complete toxic cesspool yeah within your own community that you've built because that right there will kill your entire entire brand and channel oh so you're gonna bring it you're gonna bring it out quick so quickly and that's like I, you're right i don't ask all right, sorry. 
I don't proposition myself to the point where I'm like, hey, why is nobody subbing? Why is nobody following? The closest I get, and, and, and we've talked about this before, I don't even like doing this. I stream, like, my legit reason for streaming is I truly enjoy meeting people virtually for multiple reasons, most of which I don't have to physically see anybody. And if I don't want to talk with somebody, I can just like ignore them because they're digitally not, or they're just digitally here. They're not physically beside me where I'm like, Ugh, go away, John. Shut the fuck up. Go away. I can just be like, done. Um, yeah. And that's not trying to be rude. That's just, that's the reality where it's like, it's taking me a long time just to be like, hey, if you're enjoying this content or if you want to support the channel for free, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, whichever one's applicable to your platform, because I stream on multiple platforms. And even then, like, if you ever listen to how I say that phrase, it comes across almost as like, uh, maybe disingenuous, where I was like, I don't care if you follow or subscribe, if you're watching me, cool. If you're chatting with me, awesome. If you choose to follow and subscribe my page or my channel, even better. But I also understand, I think the, the gentleman you were watching yesterday too is similar. I'm a, a variety streamer. So I literally play fucking whatever. Every Thursday night is probably, Thursday nights are probably the only consistent game I play because it's Call of Duty with you every Thursday night. And come check us out, Roggle, Cyber Works there. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's literally whatever bug is up my butt that that day. Currently, it's World of Warcraft. I've like I've fallen back in love with with Dragonflight, the storyline, the animation, the quest line, the actual campaigns. Everything just took a massive overhaul. The shit I absolutely hated four years ago and what drove me away from the game has brought me like it's gone and they brought me back and so that's my current game and i'm finding a whole ass community that again if you go look at back at my vods my video on demands world of warcraft has always been kind to me always um like i always average you know 50 to 60 viewers on youtube when i do world of warcraft on tiktok I, like five to eight kick 13 to 27 is my current average. Facebook, I don't fucking know because I can't see that metric anymore. TikTok, right now, I'm in grand three days. Right now, I'm averaging 190, 194 per stream. Astronomically more than anything else. But again, you won't hear me say, hey, subscribe. Like, hey, pay me. Nope. Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 if I get paid, it's from Shellshock. And I, I get paid by Shellshock because I am a brand ambassador. So people click the link, buy their amazing products. I get a kickback. But again, I also use their products as we've talked about before in previous episodes. I have all their CBD oils. I have their gummies, their melatones, their, their uh, muscle cream. I have, I have it all. The, and like I say during my streams, the only four I have not tried and probably will never try is the vape, the lube, the tea, and dark matter. Uh, dark matter just because it's two hundred fifty dollars for about ten ounces. Sounds like a really crazy Saturday night. Oh, it's supposed to be a hell of a trip. I want to try it. Um, I have I have reached out numerous times and say, "Hey, what's it going to take for me to be given a bottle of dark, dark matter?" Nothing. Like it's not two hundred fifty bucks. That's what I was thinking. Free hat, free t-shirt, sure. Free bottle of uh, THC, sure. Dark matter, too damn expensive. Um, and I've had months with like thousand plus dollars. So like, I, I only represent what I truly enjoy, what I love, and I love their products. I want to be a part of it. I am a part of it type thing. But I've, I've seen so many. We talked about it yesterday. I've seen so many people. I'm not going to throw any names out there. Just okay. in the off chance we dime out some medium to big time streamer, I don't want to get a cease and desist. Mostly because my name, my address, is on all of this two guys one game pass stuff. <laughs> Roggles is nowhere to be found. 
He'll never find me. Don't worry, I'll give you their address. Give you his address. <laughs> but uh, I, I, big streamers, and specifically one big time Fortnite player who seems to be very upset with the current season. He's been he's been captured on tweets and video clips and shorts and all that stuff literally just berating somebody because they could no longer subscribe to his channel and he basically said it, you know i'm sorry you're sort of broke because he had to pay his mortgage he's like just know if i wanted to i could buy your i could buy the bank your mortgage is through buy the bank and make you leave and evict you from your own house i can make you homeless and like he used the term make you homeless i could buy your bank and make you move like he was so deranged just because somebody could not subscribe to his channel like the the hypocrisy behind all this uh these are the people who who brought you up who made you who you are who who gave you the lifestyle you're able to afford right now because they are subscribing they're watching they're tuning in they're supporting you and you're basically just saying fuck you and fuck your shit i don't want any of it like that is so wild I'm appreciative as fuck when somebody's like, hey, I subscribe to your to your Twitch account. I was like, cool, you didn't have to though, man. Oh, and like sometimes it's oh, I use my uh Twitch Prime though, so it didn't cost me anything. It's like, oh, well still, thank you. Never expected, always appreciative. Always a saying I have every time somebody follows or subscribes is never expected, always appreciated, because I don't. I'm here to literally meet people. And sometimes they're really, 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 really weird. And I get new More nicknames. <laughs> I get new nicknames. You can call me Zaddy now. Yeah. World of Warcraft community. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Take that word. Put it back in your mouth, please. Don't let it out again. Just hold on to that one. Keep it. It's, Keep such, it a, it's such a Gucci comment. Is that the right word? The right. Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Aim for Gucci. But no. Uh, so much just that makes me feel dirty so bad um <laughs> it's i've seen i've seen girls i'm sure everybody has seen the one streamer i really don't know her name either who has gone off on people saying if you can't spend five dollars to support me then get the fuck off my channel go away how poor are you that you can't afford five dollars stop eating at mcdonald's for god's sakes all you have to do is give up like she berated her whole fucking community numerous times all because people are like dude it's five dollars yeah but you don't understand if you can't support your streamer then you don't need to be watching them you are fucking out of your goddamn mind if you think you are above anybody and warrant their paycheck whether five dollars or soon to be six like it's just it's it's so mind-boggling and the fact that that creator you were watching has a breakdown during live stream like that the biggest and breakdown sure you have you see me every day is this is fucking bullshit this is a where the fuck are you at <laughs> save me but it's like you could literally see it like he he looked defeated frustrated and panicked because i was talking to my i was talking to my kids yesterday or the day before about you see all these streamers all these social media influencers that they that their biggest thing is that all the money now all this now all this now but if they're not setting themselves up because eventually it's going to stop yes so they're going to hit they're going to hit that peak they're going to hit the downfall and they're they're more likely going to have some revenue but it's not going to be the peak of what it's at at a certain point it's all going to eventually stem off to something else if they're not setting themselves up investing or creating something or having something in, in the long run for it that's all going to run out and at this point you've been streaming and you're doing stuff online for you know 10 to 15 years you have no you have no revenue coming in other than what you are having coming through your brand through your community and everything else yeah. you have no nothing else what is it at that point you hit rock bottom and you have to go to get a nine to five job at that point and you're starting at that point, you know, mid thirties, hopefully not, you know, early forties, trying to restart your life at a minimum job, minimum wage job, and keep up with everything that that they had or had to sell. Yeah, 
you know, or bankruptcy stuff like that as well. And and the thing is like it's like not we're not saying the skills and things you learn to do via streaming is not transferable to the like job market. However, most of it is human relations. And there's a hard issue when you're being the biggest douchebag to your community who brought you up and now you're gonna say, Oh, I'm really good with people. I can talk to people, I can wine and dine, I can fanatic like okay, all it takes is somebody Googling you and be like, oh, you're this streamer and it, oh look at all this bad publicity behind because of comments. Like you're less likely to get a job simply because of that. And then not not even like that aside your main revenue is brand deals and sponsorships. Again, big chunk, you're going to hit the glass ceiling and you're going to peak. It's going to happen. Everyone will. It's just a matter of when, not if. And then you have people like Dr. Disrespect, who's like, okay, he created his own studio. You have Mr. Beast, not a streamer, but again, he went from creating YouTube to now creating this massive um, company where he, you know, he planted what? millions of trees if not billions of trees he challenged elon musk to match he's done he's done millions of giveaways literally millions of dollars like he does a lot um and then you have ninja who just came out with his own milk i'm hoping that was a joke i saw a clip <laughs> of dr disrespect um uh, but like they're all working towards something greater however some of those affirmation streamers are also guilty of that thing. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't know, to me, if, if I ever had the opportunity to have tens of thousands of people watching, honestly, I would like, I probably wouldn't know what the fuck to do. My anxiety would get the best of me. Like, oh, I need that help. These numbers are too high. Numbers are too high. Something's broken. <laughs> One moment, everyone. Go away. You're back. Like, Rock will beat your fucking ass on any help. No, quit your job. Let's go. There's so many. There's so many. Be calling my wife. Up. I didn't need you. Okay, Put guys. Hands on everybody. <laughs> Put everybody in. Hold me. Fucking kill me. Help. But like, I would be. I'd be so ever grateful. And again, if I get to the point, cool. Would it be amazing? Awesome. But I'm also in a position that if that were to happen, I have other avenues. Mm -hmm. Streaming has taught me to become a graphic designer. Why? Because I didn't want to pay someone hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do a logo, which honestly, especially back then, even like five years ago, a lot of those logos, you're going to hear something. And so is TikTok. Um, you're gonna like back then a lot of logos were a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. And yet all they were, they'd go online and find a PNG, alter some colors. I was like, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. I could do better. I started figuring out how to do it via YouTube and learning how to do it. Which, like that's that's the that's the new guide for guided dummies is YouTube. The, you, I mean, that's exactly what it is. I do a lot of things because of YouTube. I watch stuff because I have to. I don't know exactly how to do a lot of different things. But when I go through it, I'll either YouTube it, Google the hell out of it, or try to figure it out. You know, either I fix it or I don't. I break it worse, and then I have to pay the person to come in and fix it. But regardless, I make the effort of going through YouTube and trying to figure that out because I don't want to spend the money. Yes, I'm cheap, and if I can fix it myself, I'll do it. I'd rather do it that way, learn a skill and figure it out. But if I have to pay somebody, I will. I don't want to. But again, go to YouTube. You can damn it figure anything out. Yeah, I mean, I've talked about it on previous episodes before. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not a mechanic. I was never taught how, which is weird because, like, part of the generation that I should have been taught wasn't taught uh, for multitude of reasons, whatever it was. I went to YouTube, figure out how to change my brake pads, figure out how to change my rotors, figure out how to uh, check, or not check, but change transmission and oil, figure out how to change your brake fluids. Like, I have learned more on YouTube on how-tos 
just for the car I'm going <laughs> I feel pretty pretty good about doing the the good stuff the very easy stuff you bet your sweet ass so if I hear like a rattle I'm like eh. take it to make it I may have yeah. fucked something up I don't know what I, but I, I may I may have fucked something up yeah and, there's a certain a certain level that I'll go to if it's yeah. like I know I can't do that or I don't want to fuck anything up further yeah. I have to take too many things apart because I'm sorry my memory is not the best if I have to take a million screws out about 900 are going back out of that million so if if I have to like what was I looking at oh I was looking at to do the the transmission fluid for my car and it's like the easiest way is just take off the protective panel so I went underneath the car I was like okay there's 12 screws here nope <laughs> And I went to another video to see like how to access it. I could see it. There's this little like, literally, and I have smaller hands, and my hand could not fit in there. I was like, Ugh. let me go see if I have something in the house, something that could like a grippy stick or whatever where I could just like twist it that way. I was gonna finagle it, but I was like, ah, okay. And there, somebody else I was watching said, just get a a saw, and just basically cut around it and make it so where you can pull up. You're not gonna ruin the protective barrier any more than just driving. Now you're just gonna have a hole to easy access it. I was like, nah, 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 it's fine. I don't, I don't have a fucking warranty on it. It's, it's an old car. It's it's 10 years old now. So definitely don't have warranty. But I was like, no, it's not in my ass. I'd fucking go too deep or go too far. And I just, yeah, I was, uh, no. But again, like those useful ones are very helpful. And because of things like that, I've learned skills I don't necessarily need as a streamer, but I have definitely monetized those skill sets now. Mm -hmm. Where I was creating, I created your logo that you're still not using, but we're using on two guys on gamepad. I have created a bunch of merch for our store. I've created a bunch of merch for my store uh, before I just merge everything into ours. I created Oh, I think I'm I'm upwards of like 300 plus streamers that I I create logos for. I had a Discord community before I dissolved it that I was building logos for. Um, and a couple of communities I'm in right now, I still get people who be like, "Hey, Sig, um, do you got time? Can you create me a logo?" Cool, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, if you want it free, it's on my time. Meaning, like, I get to, I get to it. But my priorities take precedence over yours type thing and then most of the time they're like i'll pay you okay here you go I'm done transferable yeah, so skills i'm learning that, and that's the thing is that you're you're transferring everything that you're getting from it and you're setting yourself up for the future wise of what you have yeah but on the back end you have a lot of the other ones that are living in the living in their moment which is perfectly yeah. fine nothing against it you know you only live once live your life to the fullest you know stuff like that but also I mean, you gotta also be able to look to the future and things like that. And that's why I always say. tell my kids you have to set yourself up yeah. for the future. Have it so if you want to live comfortably, bust your ass, work hard, get to where you need to be, and then you're, you're good. Set it up. Have a have something to fall back on. Be fine with the sugar daddy. It's that sugar bump. I mean, yeah. That's, if you want to do that too, nothing wrong with it. You live your life. But if you're gonna have this type of of lifestyle of streaming you know social media presence of some kind you got to be ready and prepared to have an after an after effect or a fallback at that point because if you don't it's you're going to struggle even more yeah. and it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be rough that's all it's going to be it just hard yeah and a lot of things like i've talked about even in other uh, streaming episodes where one, one thing people seriously still have the stigmatism behind streaming is it, it's just press and go press press stream start streaming press play whatever like yes to a degree as i've talked about before we've talked about before but people like that guy you're watching the moment they they hit a hurdle or an obstacle they they literally just stop like they don't they don't combat in any way they're just like oh shit like i'm here i made 20 dollars again for the month prior when everything just common sense which i know is dying or is dead whatever but common sense says okay i only made 20 dollars last month 
let me go back through my VODs and see what happened. And now, yes, granted, Kick just got VODs, like just got access to full-time VODs not too long ago. So that's still a new feature where you can go back and see the stats and everything. Um, but you can go back and you should always be having VODs. If, like, if you're building your channel out, if you're just starting or you've been going like we have, is you have to you have to take your live stream and post it up everywhere else. Post it on YouTube at bare minimum, mm -hmm. record it or download it, um, and then post it up on YouTube for a video library. That's it. And that gives you the opportunity to look back and see what's going on. And that's what he he should be doing or should not say, okay, I made twenty dollars. Let me take a full day, not stream. I'm okay with transparency. I am very transparent on my entire channel. Always have, always will be. Somebody's trying to break in. <laughs> Somebody's trying to break in my office. Um, but there's a difference of being transparent and and whining and being a baby about it. He hit an obstacle and he said, I am now going to take this out on my community versus let me take a day off from streaming. Let me go back through my videos and see where I struggled. Is it he went from, you know, streaming five days a week and he, you know, he was only streaming three days. Is it those two days that a week that affected him? Is it the time period changes? Because I can tell you just from being a multi streamer myself or a variety streamer myself, there are some days where World of Warcraft pops off. There are days when Call of Duty pops off. There are days when, you know, Destiny 2 or Apex or Fortnite or um, Hypercharge or any of these other random ass games I'm playing all pop off at different times, let alone different days. And if he's not taking that opportunity to look back and say, OK, did I try a new game? Did I play that new game way too much? Not use the proper the proper hashtags or tags. Did he not use the proper categories? Did he not do the proper description? I mean, granted, he's on kick, so there's limited um, mobility on there for what you can alter. But like YouTube and Facebook, you get hashtags, you get tags, you get a full description box, and it's all part of like your SEO discovery. And like Twitch, Twitch has shit visibility, but they still use tags. So like I get people who will find me via Mil our military veteran tag or my USAF tag and like, hey, I found you via Air Force tag. What like what was your AFSC? Oh, cool. Let's talk about that. Your MOS for everyone else. And I was like, OK, cool. Slight, very, very minimum discovery. But it all plays in the part of like what you're using. He's clearly not doing any research. And like, I'm not trying to bag on him or sound like a piece of shit. But because he definitely has more. Uh, subscribers on kick and that's fine the point of the matter is he hit an obstacle so hard that he goes i'm gonna bitch and whine about it i'm gonna be calm so it doesn't sound like i'm i'm really mad about it but it built up over his stream and it was very noticeable and just to put out the the statistics out there because you said he had 70 stream or 70 viewers he has 4.3 thousand uh, uh, followers slash subscribers that that's not even 10 percent that's not even 10 percent. that is 1.666 so one and two thirds percent of his entire following base was watching him that day okay. and if he's only made 20 dollars their subscription is five dollars and you get 90 percent kickback so he had give or take he had about six people subscribed six seven six seven on the easy side that's that's now shit. What's half of one point six six? I don't know. Half of that. Point eight something. Point eight three three. Um, so not even a percent are subscribed to him, and your metrics should technically be roughly ten percent is watching, and then two to five percent are subscribed. He's not he's not even hitting that base metric by any means. And rather than saying, OK, what can I do better? What can I change or what did I change? I need to revert back to 
Instead, he's basically saying, well, fuck all this. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that. I'm done. This is stupid. And that's ridiculous. A grown ass adult, man or woman, doesn't yeah. matter. Like, overcome their hurdle. Let's... Oh, yeah, for sure. You've got to look at this too. You're your own boss at this point, too. Nobody's going to come in and tell you exactly what you're doing wrong. You have to figure it out on your own. You, you get to get a roggle for that. Like, just like. You, you tell him he's fucking wrong. I'm the talent. I do what I want. The whole thing with it is being your own boss. Yeah, it's great. But you also have to be able to say, hey, I'm not doing what I need to here and check yourself. You have to be able to have the integrity to say, okay, something needs to change. Something needs yeah. to be fixed, corrected, or just completely shit canned and not, not do it again. Because if you're going to be this full time streamer, you're going to be this full time social media presence, you have to know that you're going to be in front of the camera. You're going to be seen by a lot of people if you get to that point. If you're lucky enough to get to that point, that's awesome. But you have to be able to back it up with everything that you're saying and doing. And when things get tough, you hit that low point again. You got to figure out what's changed or what do I need to do, or you're just going to hit that that low point. You may have people just take a break from you for a while because either it's the same thing over and over, which me myself, I'm consistent on being the same thing over and over. So I understand why my numbers are where they're at. I'm not mad about it. I don't do it for a job. I do it just to have fun. And there's more than just that for you, but yes. But that's. For me, it's a it's a release from life because that's yes. what other than I do it. It's an enjoyment. Same thing with our podcast. It's it's something fun and enjoyable that we do because it's outside of the normal world that we have. Yeah. And we can bitch and complain about it here, and nobody can hear me because they're upstairs. So I can get away with it. I have her on until Facebook they, until they go back and listen to <laughs> listen to the podcast, and I can talk to them about it. But check I don't have her. Have you? I'll have message you, her. Have you, <laughs> but no, having the integrity and being able to say, okay, I messed something up here. I have to change something. Or, you know what? Stick with what you're doing and see if it works out after you have that low and it comes yeah. back up and it's consistent. If you want to be the same way no matter what and do it, then that's, that's a choice you have to do and you have to deal with it. Or change it and figure it out. It's, and that's, how, that's it, how it goes. It's, it's literally insane to do the same thing over and over and expect different results. And that's where a lot of, a lot of streamers get into the mess. And like, I've, I've talked about this numerous times, I both here and on my personal stream is I've been to the point where I've had a thousand plus people tuning into my streams when I was big over on kick or starting to get big on kick. I was starting to pop off. Um, and this is all before COVID and everybody was a streamer. But I was starting to pop off with Destiny 2 content. And I was having people just pop in all the time, talking shit about whether it was the Guardian I was playing as, the class I was playing at, the specs, whatever. And we're all just having fun. And mm-hmm. at one, one game, because Phasmophobia just came out uh, shortly before, and I literally switched that game. And all my, my D2 community just disappeared they popped in and be like hey sick what the fuck why aren't you playing destiny 2 what happened I was like oh well, i'm taking a break i beat the season's content i beat the game's content i've had the story like there's nothing more for me to go in there except for doing weeklies i've done with weeklies uh and that drastically affected me i went from you know one to two thousand people watching at a time to now i'm back down to 10 20 maybe 40 on the high end and then again, I built a community for Phasmophobia. But then again, went back to Destiny 2. DLC came out. Lost those Phasmophobia. Like, I knew that I had to be very careful about introducing so many games. But then again, COVID hit. And not everybody was wanting to watch Destiny 2 anymore because they became very stagnant. Content was shit, to be honest. So, switched into multi, or not multi, sorry, variety gaming. And I figured out Among Us had just debuted popping off i got on that train right away with the crew i was running with at the time and the veteran community that we used to be a part of we were doing game nights that i was running and we all did among us instantly without even trying two three four five hundred people watching and gain subscriptions that way and again all this you can see on my video on demands over on youtube i have literally i think like 12 to 14 years of content built up over on on YouTube alone 
just for a stream meet shit. Um, don't look at my actual profile because it tells you how long I've been on there and no one needs to see how old that is. Leave it alone. Um, but it was one of those things like I I wasn't even looking at trends at the time. I was just like, oh, new game, I want to play this. I so happened to get on it. But every time I hit that low moment or hit the peak, it was, okay, well, shit, what happened? Okay, I lost all my thousands of followers because I switched to Phasmophobia. Do I keep playing Phasmophobia because I'm burnt out on Destiny 2? There's no new content. Or do I say, fuck it, be miserable, visibly be seen as being miserable, and still retain my 1.2, 1.4 thousand followers and viewers? Or do I say, eh, I'll be back and go do Phasmophobia? Pivoting's not, there's nothing wrong with pivoting. And there's nothing wrong with scrapping everything and saying, fuck it, I'm done. I've done that. I've done that to Twitch. I said, fuck this, I'm having no growth anymore. Let me go try out Mixer. Popped off on Mixer. We all know how well that went down. Went over to Facebook, went back to Twitch. Twitch wasn't what it used to be. It got worse, in my opinion. Went over to YouTube. Was on YouTube up until uh, sometime last year. And then said, fuck it, I'm going to be a multi-streamer again. Because I was having a lot of success with that um, when I was randomly doing it. And here I am now. I'm live on six platforms at a time now. You got Cake, you got Facebook, you got YouTube, you got Twitch. Uh, I just got granted access again. Don't know how. Got granted access to X slash Twitter. So now I can be live on there. I'm, as you can see, if you're on TikTok, I'm live right now on TikTok. I'm live during my live streams too. And I am meeting all sorts of random people. Very questionable people too. Uh, but I'm meeting all these random people and I have gained followers everywhere. I've gained followers on YouTube. YouTube videos pop off. I've also recently discovered, or not discovered, that's the wrong word. I recently replace my full my live streams in may uh because again the first two weeks was just shitty weather here in kansas so i said okay i need a, a solution again big brain mode i said i can't stream i need something to replace that time slot okay. i did youtube premieres literally recorded gameplay the night before day before whatever and released it and all those videos popped off all of may so Every video, and I'm still doing YouTube premieres now. Uh, I didn't do this week because TikTok. I got access. And I was like, <laughs> let me try this out. Plus focus. <laughs> ADHD. Uh, but I've pivoted. And that's not what this guy or so many other people aren't doing. They literally just get smacked by the wall and crumble. And rather than dusting themselves off and say, what can I do different? Or what do I need to do different? Or what do I need to revert back to? There's so much more to it than just, I'm playing Call of Duty. Statistically speaking, says you should play one game. And you should play that game as much as you can on average four to six hours a day. That's not realistic for a legitimate adult, let alone an adult with family. Okay. I'm able to do it because my kids are taking naps or quiet times or I was waking up early before everybody else or if no one's home. Like I, I stream when I can. You stream on Thursday nights because that's when you're able to. I'm sure if, if we can get this whole, uh, you guys, my gamepad stream, like if I could figure out the YouTube shorts because I, we can go live on YouTube shorts. I don't know how to set that up because it's only on my phone. I can't figure it out on the mobile. Or on the, on the mobile, it's the same mobile. fucking thing. On the <laughs> web browser. Um, and we could do that, but like... You're going to hit that wall. And what's even worse than all that, though, is this is the internet. Mm -hmm. Or what? For 40 oh. years... <laughs> 40 years of internet. It's legit internet where everybody's had accessible access to it. Grand the last 30, 25 to 30 years, it truly became a, a nationwide and global wide phenomenon. And regardless, 25 to 40 years, 
people still don't fucking understand that how you behave, how you react, how you're seen on the internet will live forever. Whether you have a video on demand or you don't, whether you save your recordings or you don't, you put it out there, it is physically stored in some server somewhere. There is a database collection of your shit, like what we're doing right now. The only way for me to secure this video is if I save it to just my external hard drive that's not connected to the internet. I'm the only one that has a physical copy. But because we're live right now on TikTok, it's fucking everywhere. It doesn't matter. So this will forever be out there. So I'm not going to sit here and have a breakdown. If you want to see me have a breakdown, just tune in on Thursday nights and we'll play Call of Duty. And that's the thing too. Like we, we knew this going into it. Like we had we had talked about okay, let's do a podcast. And we knew that there was going to be serious struggle time because neither mm-hmm. one of us had had done a podcast. We had done you you did a few before, but it was like hit or miss on times. But this one yeah. we pretty much both of us dove in head first and like Yes, you have all the back end stuff, and I just show up pretty much. But I have front end and middle ground. <laughs> I'm just back in. Going on with what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it was gonna be a, it was gonna be a struggle to get everything. We went through trials and tribulations of everything of audio, video, you know, mm. everything. We tried. We tried to go check out season one. Of, yeah, <laughs> we we from the beginning we stuck we stuck true to it the entire time. Nothing about us is scripted, and moving forward it will not be. We do not want anything scripted, as you cannot tell. We just we've had we've talked about one thing and we're on another rabbit hole right now. We go off on tangents, and eventually we'll come back or we don't. But it's it's all to. it's all correlated together. Like it's all within yeah. the same. Like streaming is a very broad spectrum too. So to say it's all correlated, it's like. We could be talking about apples and it's still gonna be correlated. But yes. Yes. Me fucking rabbit holes. That's mostly me. And your spectrums. But yeah. So we knew we knew getting into all this that it was not going to be a moneymaker. It wasn't gonna be we weren't doing it for the money. There hasn't been any. Um we're doing it strictly just to to do it, to put ourselves out there and to see what we could do with it. And so far, we've I think we've done very well with it. We've I, we have other things to do. A lot of ideas are thrown. Um, if our lives can settle down, mainly mine, to get things for forward moving to do other stuff, then it would work out great. Um, we still have a third podcast that I have not been able to release yet, and that's mainly financial. So that's things there. So that's why that hasn't come out yet, but. It will come out soon, and I, I think it's going to be in the next week or so. We just have to sit down and talk. We just um, post it all on two guys when game has to be done with it. I don't want to do it that way. I know, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. The movie comes out know. Thursday or Friday. I know. So we'll see. Um, I think that's, why, that's why I think it's like what we've been doing. Mm-hmm. I think that's why what we've been doing has, in our eyes has been successful to a degree because when we started this back in 2022 21 22 then well two years 2022 2023 2024 yeah 2022 because we're on season three like we literally just like yeah we're like we're just gonna do this if it happens it happens we've had interviews with other streamers we've had interviews with uh a really amazing comic book slash graphic novel artist um, and writer. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed that one that released earlier this year. We had a discussion, an interview with a military, a fellow military veteran that neither one of us knew, but he reached out to us. Uh, you, that third podcast, you're literally talking to actors and producers, directors, whoever they are, of a soon to be multiverse on the horror franchise like i i this is well above what i thought we were gonna get to in two years two and a half year span uh but to be fair if you go watch season one 
and you listened to what type of podcast we were going to be, it was going to be all things <laughs> gaming. Um, yeah. Which again really baffles my fucking mind why I didn't weekly update. God damn. Yeah. Um, but it, it baffles me and that we're having this success. But again, we went in, no offense to anybody, we went in with very low expectations. Going, if it hits, it hits. If it slaps, it slaps. Uh, we definitely took advantage of a lot of the the free market, whether it's like Canva or like my lost Adobe privileges. Uh, I went to Canva, started creating some stuff there. I found third party and free websites and free apps. Um, some that I think are way better than Adobe now for what I use for graphic design and, and animation design for myself and our stuff. But we've pivoted and we've overcame and we started figuring out like what do we need to do for that how do we need to overcome this but at the same time somebody reaches out and goes hey i'd like to be on your episode okay yeah. here we go like it's i think it's cool i think what we've done and where we came from is amazing i think we're gonna hopefully go a lot further if somebody can get the third podcast out i get financial estates are there it's a thing um but we, we also knew, you know the name, and you know what we're playing off of. We're also very immature. So, but we were very adamant from the get-go, we're not doing scripts. Because that's that's very boring. And we've had a couple people who have been on and been interviewed that said they, like, they enjoyed it. They enjoyed that we weren't scripted, that we weren't... Um, uh, I want to say he said like authentic interview, like we were just talking, shooting the shit, like in, yeah, it's in an, oh, yeah, an open dialogue versus a. Mm-hmm. Well, hold on. I also had a question though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I researched like cool. No, we'll we'll find this out together. Let's go on this journey together. And I feel like it's 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 worked very well for what it is. And mm-hmm. if we had the one off where somebody's like, hey, I want to partner up with you. I want to, I want to sponsor you guys. Okay. Here's some things you need to know about us. Go watch all the episodes. <laughs> yeah. Understand swearing. It's going to happen. It's, it's no, mm-hmm. yeah. this is a, re- a break from adulthood. This is a break from parenthood. This is a break from legit reality. I mean like work and family and all that. Like it's just an hour to two hours maybe three max on Tuesdays where we get together and we, and we get to just bullshit, shoot the shit and, um, talk. And then we get to do it again on Thursday nights where we just play video games and we get to truly like relax and we're not talking about anything. We're just, we're just getting pissed off because somebody runs away and then somebody gets pissed off because the other person runs away, even though they run away all the fucking time without telling the other person. Yeah, you do. But also Same. we have a we Same. have a third we have a third person also that's on the on the wrestling podcast that we have as well. <laughs> he's he's been on the of them. He's done a lot of them, yeah. So yeah, but I mean Lane, he's the other one that's he's he's kind of in and out of everything as well. But we one thing I think we did a good job of we didn't try to take on too much at once. We did two guys one game pad for two and a half years, three seasons. And then we started to do to branch off in Ellen's just this year. Yeah. You know, and we, we started the merch store, all that stuff. That was after season one, or was it into season in the season one season when we started it? So yeah. It launched in season two. Come on. Yeah. So we, we came out slow with everything and then we started to get ideas like, okay, let's try this, let's do this. This didn't work. Yeah. Or like, that. You know? We're and trying to pay Patreon right, right now. Done. That's not a not to get rid of Patreon because tried that not working for us. Yeah, no, it's it's not. But there's stuff that we that we have done in the past that we haven't done in a long time. Like you torture me with Jeopardy and other math bullshit that I can't stand. Don't worry, we it's haven't coming. done those in a while. I'm sure it is just because I said it. I know it's coming now. Oh no no no! But <laughs> I have it on the actual calendar. Oh, that's of course you do. Fuck with Rockle Day. I can't. Exactly I can't it add it to the Discord. 
because I don't want you to see it. <laughs> and we have like a Discord. We do have that. Uh, you know, we've been very adamant that that you know neither one of us are big on Discord. Like it's not something we're. Right, that's how we're recording this episode, how we're using this episode. But we're not everyday active on it. Where we're like, hey guys, what's going on? Let me go through my communities. Hey, hey, hey. Like, no, it's not. It's not. And I've tried that before. And the last time resulted in me dissolving my Discord because some petty assholes decided to be sneaky or try to be sneaky and got busted. And when we got confronted, they're like, oh, well, you're not active. No shit. It's a discord for, for parents and adults with lives. Just because yeah. you don't have one doesn't mean anything. And so like we yeah. have a discord where people can come in and they could chat if they wanted to. They can come in, they could join on an episode. They can come play with us on Thursday nights. Like we have it all there. And like even now, I'm still trying to figure out how to publish a book the cheapest way possible <laughs> because once i figure that out then one thing we've been very adamant about over two and a half years now is is some type of cookbook or food book or menu book or whatever of like this is what we do this is how we cook because both of us enjoy cooking smoking meats and barbecuing um so I just don't know where to go to for the publishing to be free. Looking into it, if you know, type situation. But that's like again, we've we've hit all those hurdles, or we've went well. You know, it's let's be real. Okay, I'm doing the research. He doesn't do the fucking research for the most part. Like. I've done, I've done SEO training. I've done SEO research. I've done all this stuff that's like, well, you should have two, two, three channels for, to be seen. Cool. Okay. Well, let's create a, and that's where like ring rage report came out from. Okay. We let's have a secondary uh, podcast, but have it being underneath two guys, one gamepad umbrella. So now we're kind of technically establishing a brand, establishing identity. Okay, cool. He's going to have a horror based one with him and Lee. Cool. Under two guys, one game pad. Go from there. I won't have anything to do with that. So just so you all know, that's all Roggle. It's not Sig. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Production value, right? <laughs> so, oh, motherfucker. So, <laughs> but, bitch. but like, it's it's things we've encountered and we say, okay, let's change. Let's try. We failed, move on. Mm -hmm. But for example, going back to that streamer and so many others, big time, but millions of followers and subscribers to small time. The fact that these, these people just hit that wall and then rather take any onus on themselves, they're like, I'm going to bitch, complain and moan to the community that built me you you may think you built your community and that's not really like logistically sound or possible you're just kind of the catalyst that brought everybody together everybody's wandering yeah, around that everybody's going to correct mm -hmm. that's it like it's it's like saying apple built a community for a smartphone users no a bunch of people realized what apple was doing said this is really cool this is really handy i really like what they're doing let me go use them built apple Streamers are, are for whatever fucking reason this thing's been going streaming's been around for 15 years now. I feel like 15 years. I could be wrong. I could check my Twitch account to figure this out, but I don't want to. So I don't want to look at my age. Um because I, I only hopped in like the first two years, I think. But people hit hit these stupid fucking obstacles still 15 years later. And they don't realize everything they say is going to be on the internet. Everything they do on a stream is on the internet. Their behavior is what dictates their com the community they're building. And the fact that if you're acting like a petty little shithead who's like, I only made $20. Cool. You have less than 2% of your overall followers watching you. Mm -hmm. Where, what's, 
where's the hiccup there? Cool, you have $20, you have seven subscribers. So you have 0.83% of your overall follower base subscribed to you. Like, numbers don't lie. And yet people act like it's fucking rocket science. And every time I bring a new idea to you, or an idea that we should have been doing for two years, I've already done the research, and it's mostly me going, hey, what do you think about doing this? Feedback, honest feedback, or are you just going, cool, whatever, knowing I'm going to do all the front work anyways, so it doesn't matter. Where's my Call of Duty update? You did it. Oh, yeah, this week, because it was really short. Um, thank God. Yeah. I read last week. No. <laughs> uh, but, it, again, I, as a cool, I've, I've and imitation is best for flattery. Yeah, I know. But I will go and watch other podcasts. Be like, okay, I like what they're doing here, or I like what they're not doing. I want to try to do a twist on this. And I'm very vocal about it, very transparent about it, even going, hey, I saw this on this podcast. I saw this on some podcasts. What do you think? Mm-hmm. But again, it's our own because we're not scripted. Not at all. So, I guess you could call the game once scripted when I'm asking you trivia because I know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna be said. Yeah, I know what's gonna that's happen. Not, that's not ones we're gonna do though. You just wait till we go live. <laughs> I will media storm everything. Come watch us this day. We need live. You rock with shit. So like, it's trust me, it's easy. Yeah, it's not, it's not hard. Ask him a math question. But yeah. <laughs> but it's just one of those things that, like, I every time I see it, and it happens a lot on TikTok, like shorts, TikTok videos, where I will see people mm-hmm. bitch and complain about their payout, or they will complain about something in their stream. Now I'm like, are you serious? If you're not enjoying, and, and Gary Vee says this very well, if you're not enjoying the, the journey, you're not going to do well. Like he says it more elegantly than me, but if if we weren't enjoying what we're doing, this wouldn't be fun. It'd be very evident and we would have not last even a year. But same with Thursday Night's Gaming. If we didn't enjoy what we were doing, we wouldn't have lasted two and a half years. It's just one of those things of hardships or not, this is still fun. This is still enjoyable. If you're so concern about your financial gains on streaming then you need to look inward and figure out okay what am i doing to maximize my income from streaming who am i partnering with are these proper sponsors are these part uh proper brands that i want to be affiliated with uh are you doing like most people do where they go to like g fuel or they go to w or they go to uh some other energy drink like rogue are you just partnering up with random people like it doesn't it doesn't make any logical sense to just randomly throw your name out there and be associated with a brand that is so heavily saturated shell shock cbd does not have a lot of brand ambassadors does not have a lot of partners i got in literally before they were even opening the doors to their store before they even opened up um business i'm literally one of the the original i'm one of the first five but again i like all their products from weird things like a beard brush beard oils to cbd oils to gummies to delta eights to chocolates to snacks to i haven't tried their loop so i'm not going to talk on that aspect but all of it like i am using a product that i truly love i truly believe in and yet so many people will go throw their names into a hat with G Fuel and be like, hey, go, go, go use my, my discount code. Why? Why use your discount code for 10% when I can find a bigger streamer who's getting 15? Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't make sense for me. Like, it's, it's not computing. And that's a big mistake. Cool. Find the mom and pops. I've talked, maybe I haven't talked about this in the streaming journey that I'm doing episodes on. Reach out to mom and pops. Find something you enjoy. Hell, TikTok shop right now? 
is a mine minefield. Just or a gold mine. There we go. It's just a gold mine. Literally. It's a minefield too. But Words shut up. English. <laughs> English sorry. You could go on, on TikTok shop right now and find any curator and say, hey, would you be interested or willing to partner up? Do a collaboration. If if I can help sell your products, I really like selling your products. I really like your products. I use it, whatever. Let's okay. partner up. If you can give me a small kickback, 10%. That's on average what you should be getting kickback. Mom and pops, I would say probably 5%. Be generous. So you, you know, let them meet you halfway type thing. But you could go on TikTok shop right now and literally find any business and say, I like to partner up. You're big into uh, craft soaps, tons of them out there. You're big in that the dude that makes custom carpets, which by the way, if you haven't seen that TikTok, so fucking amazing. Um, I couldn't do it. Wait, I don't have patience for it. But you can go out there or you can partner up with other other podcasts and get your name more visible for everybody. But that's just not that's not something people think about that's not what people look at that's not what people are even interested in looking at they think i'm going to be a full-time and i'm going to be full-time solely on twitch or kick why there is now no reason to devote yourself to one platform at all so they all have the same no, prerogative even, yeah and even the streaming platforms are realizing that as well because twitch for the longest time made it to where you could not multi-stream now they've accepted it but they've put in their you couldn't once you were affiliated yeah but now they put in stipulations of you have to make sure that you're engaging and acknowledge yeah which the, your twitch community on the same at the same same time yeah is doing all this so yeah there's stipulations that they have to it now if they're going to stick to them but who knows but i do yeah. know that the way that streaming is kind of changing as in becoming evolving accepting of other of being multi a multi-streamer like mm -hmm. like you do within your youtube kick twitch facebook and tiktok X, whatever you whatever you want to throw yourself onto at that point whatever you whatever you tripped and fell on that day just wait only fans is coming it's just it's uh it's, i'm sure it's there just release the vods you'll be okay gonna go by zaddy zaddy sig <laughs> I told you about that word. <laughs> Put it back. Don't let it out again. The Gucci no, Zaddy. You're done. That's it. <laughs> Fuck whatever. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like it's, it all has evolved and it will continue to evolve. And either you keep up with it or you'll get left behind. Just like now. Like we went live on TikTok today for the first time and. If you found us, you may have hit rock bottom. You've kicked up every other rock that's that's alive right now, and you've not well, found us. Well, listen, listen. I've only been live on TikTok for like three days, so if they found this channel, it's because of World of Warcraft okay. or Call of Duty. Which either which way, you're part of a cult. <laughs> you're in a cult, and you just don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Welcome okay. to the AA meeting. We're not gonna. If you're still watching. We've got you now. <laughs> I got a dollar for you. <laughs> Almost had it. <laughs> so, so if you've been with us this long, you figured out that we just talk about radio shit within a variety of ways of talking about the same thing. Yeah. Of don't be an asshole on stream. Don't be a dick to your community. Be appreciative, and also be humble to what you have, and have a tiger for yourself to keep your shit in, in line. It's the basic thing. Yeah. Just yeah. don't be a dick. It's 2024. Everyone can be a dick, but you're saying. No, not everybody can take it. That's the problem. If you can't take it, you gotta have thick skin with this shit. It, it, it's very simple. What if they got the force in here? They can't have thick skin. That's not my problem. Blame your parents. I don't know. <laughs> Sue them. I didn't consent to it. Shut up. Hey, easy. Because I just saw a TikTok video about somebody who is suing and won. They sued their sperm sperm donor, the anonymous sperm donor. 
And now that guy has to pay child support for the kid she wanted. And she went to the, the sperm bank. Oh, I saw that. Oh, he's fighting it. But like, that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Very ridiculous. Welcome to America. You can sue over anything. But like, I don't know. Hey, we're trying something new. We're live on TikTok, Graham. We're live on my personal streaming channel. So if you have found us, go check out uh, Two Guys One Gamepad. Just uh, there should be a chat. I think there was a chat. Did I type that out there? Probably not. You have one job. Yeah, it says I did. It says I typed it. Whatever. But go visit Two Guys One Gamepad on TikTok and everywhere else. And once we're live, we're live, but you can see all videos over on, on YouTube. And again, we're getting ready to pivot. Roggle doesn't know this because, again, I just do the back end. Patreon's not working out. We give it a try. Didn't work out. Cool. Fine. Whatever. We'll move on. Now there's going to be a converted channel that will be just all videos. Mm-hmm. That's it. Podcast will stay on the Two Guys One Gamepad podcast channel. And along with everywhere else that's located, including Facebook, um, then we're going to have a whole different one that's just videos, basically, of our episodes. Uh, we're coming up this summer, and with August coming around sooner than later, both my kids being in school, I have three hours to myself each day to diddle myself and figure out what I want to do. So diddling will take like a minute. So I have two hours and 59 minutes to, to figure out something else to do. We have, we have stuff and we're working on it again. It's not an easy journey. Streaming is literally not for everyone. Even though you can just press the go stream or play a live stream button, not for everyone. And it's very evidential sooner or later, people's true color show, just like that guy over on kick, it happens. How you and this sounds so fucking cheesy because this is words I was raised up on. I'm sure you were too. How you handle adversity says a lot about you. It says a lot about your character. And when people are having these breakdowns, it's just it's insanity. Do something. Hell, one of my biggest and we'll wrap this up. One of my biggest moments on stream and uh, the video is still on YouTube, not on Twitch because. I left Twitch, so it disappeared uh, for a period. My biggest video outside of video games, because World of Warcraft holds number one, two, three, and four, and the Destiny holds the rest, is my hot chocolate challenge, spicy or not, where I had those tiny little chocolate bites the size of your pinky nail, and people could redeem channel points. And I could drive a piece of chocolate. It was either going to be super spicy, world's hot chocolate, or it wasn't spicy at all. Another video was uh, I raised 500 sounds right. I want to say 5,000, but that's not right. I raised $500 for an organization and through a month and made an end goal challenge. I would shave my beard. Somebody said if they donated, if they donated a certain amount of money and we got even more, because my goal was 300, we hit 500. They said if we hit 500, would I shave my head? I said I would go back to a Air Force cut. Something I was allowed to have in the Air Force, so it's really short. And sure enough, there we go, five hundred dollars went from three to five hundred in one night. Donated to organization. I shaved my beard, cut my hair, and that's still one of the most viewed and most commented uh, videos of mine because I didn't do anything other than just say, "Hey, this all grows back." This is starting to fade, but it will grow back. I'll get my plugs. But <laughs> but it's small little gimmicks like that. It doesn't cost you a dime to do something like that. Mm-hmm. We may have a challenge for like six months where Rago can't shave his beard for six months. And by the end of it, he'll have a five o'clock shadow. The very patchy one will have a five o'clock shadow. Fucking Joe Dirt. <laughs> Shit doesn't grow in. It doesn't happen. Nope. Tell me more. Fucking hate you. 
I'm done with you. I can't trim up too. It's getting long. Yeah, shut up. I hate you. <laughs> I don't know what's longer, this? No! <laughs> Let's wrap it up. <laughs> you fucker. Be sure to check us out on Thursday nights. We play Warzone. That's it. That's all we play. We talk about other games. He tries to yell at me to play something else. We end up playing Warzone. Then he complains at me because he can't stay alive or win his gunfights and then play against me. But yeah, we're playing multiplayer there. this time. No, we're not. I need to stay alive. We're playing multiplayer. <laughs> fucking liar. You're going to sit in a corner with a sniper. I sniper. do not. I get 30 kills. Shut up. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways. That's more than my sure Warzone out- kills in a month. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Be sure to check out Sig over on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, X, OnlyFans, Pornhub. Deep uh, Finder. <laughs> Oh, look here, whatever else you're into. I don't know. He's anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> just type in Cybermark six feet. You'll find it. If you want to send him a message, just send him your toes. He enjoys it. But uh, yeah, I got nothing else. $5 is $5, that's what I'm saying. That's, I guess, what you're into. But uh, it's been fun. Even being live on TikTok, definitely a different thing. We'll probably hopefully do a little more in the future. But yeah. yeah we'll wrap that it. up here in a second, too. We're just going to wrap up this episode. Yeah. I got nothing else, but till the next one. Bye, bitch! <laughs>